You know, a lot of people ask me, Eric, what can I do to get stronger? What do I gotta eat? How much do I have to eat? Who do I have to eat? Awkward. So you wanna show us your health, the Oreos. water, and Oreos? Seeing as I uh, just started lifting weights like a week ago, I figured I'd just make this video. <laughs> You guys know my thoughts on cereal that's on sale. When it's on sale and you love it, you buy that shit. <sighs> it's already 11 o'clock and I'm done with the internet for the day. <laughs> So everyone, it is currently Friday, July 7th. Julio. Julio? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Siete de Julio. Julio? I'm gonna stop that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In this context on this channel, you guys want to see heavy lifting, you want to see a lot of food, you want to see pretty much all of that. Yeah. So that being said, everyone, I'm one to put full days of eating up just food related stuff on my channel. So uh, now you guys are seeing kind of a different dose of me and you're seeing more powerlifting and that's great because that's me. <laughs> I'm not really into cycling that much anymore. I needed to take a break from cycling due to some health issues. Of course, it's a perfect fucking time for a helicopter to fly over. It's gone now. I put up a video about a month ago showing you guys my blood work, showing you guys everything that has been going on with me. And I'm not gonna beat around the bush anymore, guys. I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism. That has been what I've been doing for the past few weeks, really, is detoxing my body, giving my adrenal glands a rest, taking time off the bike, not doing hours upon hours of cardio anymore. I'm basically healing my thyroid right now. I'm healing my endocrine system, I'm healing my central nervous system. I'm just giving my body a break from a lot of, I can't really even, describe it in another word, hell, that I put it through over the past few years. I'm basically doing a complete 180 with my body, with laying off the cardio, with stopping my ADHD medication, with just doing everything that I wasn't doing previously. I am, um, I won't say shocking my body, but I am just letting myself be. I don't really know how else to put it. As of today, I'm about three weeks, no, 22 days into no stimulants, no caffeine, and I've been updating you guys, I guess, infrequently. I'm more prone to update everybody on my second channel. I do more vlogging and stuff over there, but that's not really what this is all about. It's kind of just giving you guys the straight facts and letting you guys know what I've been doing and also what's been going on with me. Appetite is through the roof. When you stop taking ADHD medication, it's essentially a stimulant that's a time release stimulant and it flows throughout your body throughout the entire day. Therefore, you're not really uh, prone to feel hunger. Granted, I am a guy that has been fasting or has been used to periods of fasting for 16, 18, even sometimes even 20 hours a day over the past uh, few years really. So it's not really something I'm new to even with taking ADHD medication. I can still go long periods of time without feeling any sort of hunger even when I'm on something or not. Attention is completely gone. <laughs> Feels like I have no attention right now. But on the flip side, there are some positives to everything as well. I would never in a million years just feel the want or desire to wake up and go about my day completely unstructured and I would be so anxious about it. Now I'm kind of just giving myself a break and it's the summertime. I'm letting myself actually have a summer for once that I'm actually able to wake up and not feel like I need to have everything structured and laid out for me. It's actually nice to be able to take a break. That's what all this is for. It's giving my mind and my body a break. Now on the physical part of everything, with stopping cardio, with stopping uh, these long three or four hour bike rides, my body isn't burning as many calories. But for me, I, I'm sorry, I just don't care. I, I, the whole fitness world wants you to, to uh, buy into this notion that when you're not burning as much, uh, you have to eat less and you have to, you know, do all these things to compensate for it. But guys, you're a human being. You're not going to be uh, shredded year round. I mean, I was looking at myself from just, I mean, a few months ago. I mean, I've gained weight. If you look in the outro to any of my videos, you will know that I uh, have a firm stance on the scale. And that's the other freeing part about all this is that I don't have to abide by an arbitrary number that I see on the scale. I can pretty much just go about my day and gauge my progression right now. My focus is 
actually lifting heavy and powerlifting again, and so I can really just gauge my performance on how I do in the gym. I'm taking my big appetite for food, and I am using it towards heavy lifting, and that's pretty much just my passion right now. Granted, I have other things too that I'm still passionate about, and things I'm still trying to find. <sighs> well, now that the rant's over, let's get through the rest of the day. This is the Instagram live stream of peace. A few moments later. So guys, I haven't really been, I guess, the most clear in terms of like my actual food choices before I train and after I train, yada, yada, yada. So basically, I always make sure that before I actually go train, now that I'm not cycling, I don't really need quick, fast acting carbs and all this stuff. I mean, you didn't really need it beforehand, but you guys get the picture. So before training, I try to minimize my fiber as much as I can and actually my fat intake as well. So I wanna boost my carbohydrates as much as possible before I go train. I wanna just be explosive and get as much power as possible when I'm actually doing my heavy compound lifts. So therefore, I pretty much keep it simple. Toast, cereal, usually have oatmeal. If I am planning on doing cardio for the day, I'll probably throw in some rice cakes or something else in addition to my cereal or whatever else I'm having. But yeah, guys, for the most part, I'm just keeping it pretty simple right now. I usually do have, I usually do have some fruit too, which is probably gonna happen here in a few minutes, but yeah. And I'm also still on the uh, minimizing my artificial sweeteners as much as I can kick. <laughs> you guys get what I mean. So uh, it's pretty simple guys for the most part. I'm again, like if I were to throw an estimation about what I've been taking in on a daily basis, it's probably around 32 to 3,500 calories. But then again, I don't track calories. I don't track macros. We'll save that for when, if I do ever plan on cutting. In the meantime, we have cereal. I did kind of do a little review last night. If you want to call it a review, but. And already everybody, this is the post great grains uh, cinnamon shit. This isn't cinnamon raisins, dates, pecans, great grains cereal review. Actually, have I had this before? I probably have. Uh, it's been a while, everybody. Since I've already reviewed this, it's just been a long ass time. I just want to let you guys know how awesome it is. Now this was only two ninety nine. You guys know my thoughts on cereal that's on sale. When it's on sale, and you love it, you buy that shit. Now guys, usually just because it takes so much to actually fill me up, I really I like cereal and I like oatmeal just because they're liquid based and so when I'm able to get in a lot more liquid, and when I get a lot more liquid in, I'm not actually gonna feel like super, super hungry right when I leave my apartment to go lift, so that's why I like it. But yeah, so it takes a lot to fill me up. I kind of cringe right now even thinking about what my stomach capacity is actually at now that I'm not taking in any sort of stimulants or anything like that, so. Now today is an upper body day, so I'm gonna be training overhead press, trying to get a PR there. So I don't plan on doing any cardio, but we'll see what happens. I kind of just base it off of how I'm feeling for the day. And you guys know it, I love my toast. Because I do get this question a lot. Everyone always likes to ask, Eric, do you eat the entire box in one sitting? And the answer is, Honestly, no. I usually go through about half a box before I train, if I do have cereal. And uh, I've been known to take down a box of cereal in one sitting, but right now I just don't really have the desire. Kinda like to have variety too. Kinda just depends on the cereal. If it's Oreo O's, then uh, yeah, Oreo O's.
Okay, well, 135 pounds for a new fiber at max. It hasn't gone this good in a long time, everybody, and uh, yeah, I'm just really excited. After that, we did some incline pressing, which is good. I always use my incline press as an accessory movement to my overhead press. I think if I started fresh with incline press, I'd probably get around maybe 165 for five reps, but after doing overhead pressing for three heavy top sets and with all the warm-up work I do with my overhead press, it really isn't gonna be the highest. After that, I did some accessory work and uh, about nine minutes of cardio. <laughs> Other than that, I'm pretty happy with where things are at and uh, have no plans on changing anything else. I don't really have the drive or motivation right now to even do any more cardio anyways. Considering that I did hit 275 yesterday for a new PR, I, yeah. <laughs> I was just not gonna even bother with cardio anyways, so. Yeah, that being said, everybody, we are done with today, and uh, stay tuned. I'm on welfare, man, I swear to God, I wish I was living in Billy. So you wanna show us your health? The Oreos. water and Oreos. You gotta stay hydrated. Moments later. Ooh. Oh, <sighs> man, and it's only seven o'clock. So I got home from the store and also had to get some new shoes. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I very, very rarely get new shoes, guys, but I'd say once every six months to a year, I get new shoes, so I decided to get some more Vans. The classics. Alrighty, guys, and in this bag right here, we had some cauliflower, mushrooms, broccoli, which I haven't made in a while. I don't know why I just decided to not get broccoli, or not get Brussels sprouts and get broccoli tonight, but we did. Iceberg lettuce, this is kind of a boring bag right here. Diet A and W, all stuff you've seen before. Cashew milk. I like this, it's just Greek yogurt from uh, Kroger. They make a non-fat vanilla flavor, so that's really, really good. And then another can, or tin, as I've run into before, Dilemma, tin or can, container of oatmeal and then some strawberries right there. Alrighty guys, rice cakes, yada yada yada, snap peas, mushrooms. I uh, wanna get some bananas because I haven't had bananas in quite some time so I'm gonna probably cut these up and freeze them as they're kinda ripe, but might let them stay out for a little bit longer. Lettuce was on manager special for 89 cents right there. I had to get some more cocoa. It's actually kinda funny, somebody mentioned in the comments today that I've quote unquote been on stimulants this entire time because I've been having cocoa. Guys, cocoa is a stimulant, but there's like two, maybe three, maybe even five milligrams of caffeine per serving, so I think I'm good. But yeah, that's kind of, I just found it amusing. Anyways, guys, tangent over, cauliflower right here, and then some almond milk, vanilla right there. Oh, I want you in my life again. I want you so much. Yeah, I won't really get into that. Onions, strawberries. I haven't gotten a bag of chicken in a while, frozen at least, and this was on sale for $6.99, so I got some tenderloins. And last but not least, we have some apples. So we got some rice, broccoli, and chicken. So this is pretty much what I eat for dinner every night. Now I do have way more up there, but um, yeah, my plates are only so big. I kinda wanted to give you guys an estimation of, I guess, balance, right? We have broccoli right here, chicken breast, and some rice, so a carb source, vegetable, and protein. This is kinda just my little uh, laugh at those who like to just say that I exist on Dunkin' Donuts and Jack in the Box all day, but. Yeah, believe it or not, everybody. I like vegetables a lot, and for me, eating healthy is eating things that I enjoy that bring me to my micronutrient, vitamin needs, but also being flexible too. You guys get it. Holy shit. 
and you find out one of your subscribers has actually just got your logo freaking tattooed on them. Holy shit, guys. Mine equals blown. Well, everybody, you've made it to the end of the video. You made it, you superstar. Why did I just do that? Anyways, everybody, I just kind of wanted to make a little informative video that wasn't too, I guess, let's just say the usual error. I've been getting a lot of questions lately, especially with what I've been putting out and what I've been saying. So I figured I kind of just wanted to make a video kind of clearing up a lot of questions that I've been getting asked repeatedly. If you guys actually surprisingly enjoyed a little bit more talking as opposed to Eric eating, definitely let me know down in the comments below. It's gonna surprise me if I actually get people that do enjoy that, but regardless, I figured I would ask you guys anyways. If you guys enjoyed the video in general, hit that thumbs up button, it would mean a lot to me. Check me out on Patreon, it's a great way for you guys to support us YouTube creators that take time out of the day to make YouTube videos. Follow me on social media if you haven't already, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, you know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video everybody and 